I'm going to top an original fly for you today. I call this the RDC Dream Sickle. It's a pheasant tail variant, and I tie it on a number 12 the Haku uh, Jig Competition Barbless Hook. Really nice hook. I tie these, um, I like these hooks uh, a lot. I, I use 12, 14s, uh, and 16s in these. And I came up with this pattern uh, after fishing um, hot head pheasant tail nets, doing really well with those uh, as a point fly and as a trailing fly. I was using a orange egg pattern and I decided to try to combine the two and I came up with this creation here. And as a result, my first outing I caught 51 uh, trout and I had two grand slams that day and 100% of the fish were caught on this point fly. None took my secondary fly. So I want to share that with you today. So I start out uh, by tying in CDC in the tail section. So I have a little clump of CDC here. And by the way, the thread that I'm using is a Danville's Flymaster 6.0 in a fluorescent orange. I've got a tungsten 2.8 uh, slotted bead here. So let me get my clump of CDC. It's a pretty sparse fly, but it's super effective. And of course, I want the tail to be the length of the body. So let me put a thread base down. Okay. I'll wrap this up. I'd like to use the remaining portion of the CDC to kind of beef the body up. Then I tie in a clump of pheasant tail fiber. I follow that with a piece of small copper wire for ribbing, ultra wire and small size. We'll tie that in. Reverse wrap the ribbing.
Then I tie in another clump of pheasant tail for the wing case. interesting thing about this fly is you don't need to do the wing case. They tear it up. It seems to be using wing case or not. And then I'll tie in some more CDC here for legs. And here's where the magic comes in. The ice dubbing in UV shrimp pink. This stuff is super flashy. As you can see here. And I think that this pattern really is more of um, an agitation or an attractive style pattern where it just really um, attracts the, the trout and they can't resist like I said I mean I caught I was catching them back to back every single cast they were just absolutely tearing this thing up I think if you try this pattern it'll work well for you the interesting thing about this dubbing is sometimes I create a loop even on these small flies because this dubbing is really um, super buggy and um, it comes off easily CDC. Kind of pull it back. You're not going to use all these fibers. Just some. Pull your wing case over. It really doesn't matter if it's perfect. Like I said, I've, I've, I've tied these. Um, both with and without wing case and they're very effective it's one of my favorite patterns this year I've caught more I've caught over a hundred fish and I've only been out I don't know maybe three or four times so far clean it up try to get my hands out of the way here for you I can miss a couple of these uh, fibers here, these pheasant tail. Pinch, wrap, and snip, and whip finish, and we're done. And there she is. Take a look at it. That's the RDC Dream Sickle. And let me tell you, it's a deadly fly. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. Until next time, Belmont signing off.